Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. Welcome back to our channel. Today is March 28th and I thought today I would make a video about how to compost in a flower pot. You can use any kind of container to make compost. It's very easy. You can use any size. For example, this is medium size. I think we bought some shrub in this pot a while ago, but you can also use larger pots like that black one. You can use smaller pots like this one. It really depends on what you have available. If you want your kitchen scraps to turn to compost faster, you need to alternate the layers of kitchen scraps and old compost and make the layers thinner. Also, if you would like your compost to be fluffier, you can use dry leaves, but you need to remember that dry leaves will take longer to decompose, which is not a problem. You can wait longer or you can reuse them again in the next batch of compost. So I'm going to start with putting the old compost that I made over the winter. And you can see that it's pretty much ready. Everything broke down. I can see some avocado peel, but anyway, I'm going to put some old compost on the bottom of this flower pot and then I'm going to put a layer of kitchen scraps we had some potatoes for dinner so we have peeled potatoes we have a tea bag because we like to drink tea I made some tomato salad so we have leftover tomatoes some onion peels we also have some banana peels and then I'm going to put a thin layer of the old compost. If you don't want any critters to get into your flower pot, it's a good idea to avoid meat and dairy and fish because they like the smell of meat and they would happily get into this pot. So I'm gonna put more banana peel, another tea bag. I also have some paper towels, they break down real well. And also, if you want them to break down faster, you can put them at the bottom so that the nitrogen from kitchen scraps will start working on that paper towel. We have some avocado pits. And I'm just going to put everything into the flower pot. Also, I actually forgot to put leaves, so it's a good idea to put the leaves on the bottom also so that nitrogen from kitchen scraps would be breaking down the dry leaves. All right, and now we can just top everything with the old compost. We can see that the eggshells haven't decomposed yet, but it's okay, they can just stay in there and we can reuse them again. You can see that not everything actually broke down over the winter, but it's okay. We can reuse the old compost, even if it's half broken down. So I'm going to use some more dry leaves to cover it, to kind of keep it moist. If you have more leaves, you can put more leaves on top. And now I'm just going to water it. And you need to make sure that your compost well, your flower pot with all the kitchen scraps in there stays moist at all times because otherwise the compost and the kitchen scraps wouldn't be breaking down. Bacteria works in a moist environment. So now to keep the critters away from this pot, I'm going to put this hard rock in here and usually this keeps all critters away. Sometimes when I don't have time to layer everything and make it uh, look neat, all I do is just put kitchen scraps at the bottom of the flower pot and then put the all compost on top of the kitchen scraps and then I water it once in a while to keep it moist and it works just fine. And now we'll just have to wait for the kitchen scraps to break down and we'll come back when the compost is ready. Today is May 28th and I think our compost is pretty much done. I could let it sit longer and decompose better, but I think it's going to be good like this. And also I'd like to give you a few tips. The first tip, I added some llama manure to make the compost fertile and rich. That way I can use it as a potting soil and so I wouldn't have to add any fertilizer in here. The second tip is you don't have to fill up the pot all the way. However much kitchen scraps you have uh, and all compost, you can just use whatever you have. It's going to be good enough. And also, you don't have to stir it, but you also can stir it. And if you do, then it will break down faster. So I'm just going to kind of dig into it and see what it looks like. 
And just recently we had some big rain, which kept the compost moist. And I can already tell that the compost is looking very good. So I'm gonna move it to this box. I can see that the avocado pit has not broken down, but it's okay. I'm just gonna put it in the next batch. And when I make my compost in a flower pot, I usually don't wait for it to break down fully. I just wait a week or a couple of weeks. And when it's semi broken down, I just make a new batch and I just keep making compost continually. So I'm just gonna move everything in this box so we can see better what it looks like. And you can see that the leaves have not broken down completely and that's okay. We can always put them in the next batch or if you have large seeds that you're going to plant, you can just go ahead and plant them in this compost even though it's coarse. If you have smaller seeds, you can sift your compost. That way the larger pieces will go into the next batch and you can use the finer compost for your smaller seeds. So this is our finished compost. It looks great. Um, I see that some uh, llama manure pellets, they have not broken down, but that's okay. They'll keep breaking down. If you have not added any manure or fertilizer, it would be good to add some because without it, this compost is not very fertile. That's about all about making compost in a flower pot. It's very easy. In fact, I have several large flower pots in our backyard that I put under the trees. And that way, when I water the compost, all the compost tea flows down to the roots of the tree and feeds the trees real well. And our trees have been doing real well with those uh, flower pot composts. And like I said, you don't have to wait for it to finish all the way. You can wait a week or a couple of weeks and then just dump it out and put your new kitchen scraps, your new leaves, dried leaves, and then put the old semi-finished compost on top of it and it will break everything down. Just make sure to keep it moist and you don't have to stir it, but if you stir it, it will break down faster. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask them. We love to answer questions and y'all have a wonderful day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new batch of compost with our new kitchen scraps.